Welcome back to The Compressor Guru and yes it's me again The Electrical Guru. The Compressor Guru used to get a lot of questions about three phase versus single phase. Um, we always talked about you know trying to build a little phase converter show you guys how it works using two motors and so on and so forth but just as a little bit of education, digging around, we happen to find hidden this thing called a phasomatic converter. A phasomatic? Phasomatic converter. Oh. You see uh, that? It's spelled with an A. It's Phase spelled with an A. Is no, no. There you go. So, what we're going to do is take a good look at this thing. This is a, was a marketable device back in its time, which I have no idea what that time was, but uh, basically says runs a 220 volt three phase motor on 220 volt single phase. And there's our three phase plug stuck in the top. As you can see this was this was built up as a little mobile device. Uh, here's our, our plug that plugs into our 220 volt single phase circuit much like a dryer or a stove in your home would plug into but or a welder or, or a welder here in the shop uh, now I think what I want to do is open this thing up and see what they're actually doing in here um, since since it looks like they're only running one I should have tore this apart before so I knew what was in here but It'll be a surprise for me. Uh, just I like, like to get you. the expression on your face really? when you That's see. I see. Would there be bees? Oh, or? really? Did they do that? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, the elect the electric guru's allergic to bees, isn't he? Just a little bit. Does he have his EpiPen with him? He's, I'm not playing with bees. Oh, okay. You were in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, there were no bees. And you know, the last episode I might actually end up being the next episode. Well, either way. Yeah. The other just so Just so everybody gets the same amount of education. Okay. The important thing is to tune in every time, so it's important to hit that subscribe, uh, like, and notify bell. When you hit that notify bell, you will be told that every time the Compressor Guru puts a new video up, whether it's the guru or the guru. And I mean the compressor or the electric guru. Well, I think that's all the screws that were in it. And there it is. Sideboard. So what they've done with this converter is they've actually installed a capacitor on, on a third leg. So that's what all this circuitry does. So they're trying to bend that third leg. So your third leg should actually be... Where did it come from? Off the side, off your left side. There it is. Okay. Correct. I want to put it back together. because So they're not going to give you true three phase. They're going to give you uh, an offset voltage for your third leg. You got it? Well, yeah, I figured I would be looking at it while you were talking. Oh, okay. So, essentially, this device is set up. <laughs> there it goes. I'm putting it back together. She's done. <laughs> I'll pull still. And Maybe it's, still. wait, let me zoom in, turn it up again, and give me a chance to just zoom in and see. All of the little things in there. Huh. And you can truly tell how old the device is because all of the insulation in here is cardboard. <laughs> Not really a good idea in today's world. Really? Really. Yes, okay. yes. There are much, you know, there, there's polymers you can buy that, you know, create good insulators and, and don't get affected by heat like cardboard does. But, you know, again, I'm sure this device is no longer marketed. But, and the, the downfall of this device is, one, you will not get the starting torque out of this device as you would out of three-phase power, because it's truly not three-phase power. It's very close, not really. So you have two, three-phase power, you're, you have 
three phases that are 120 degrees apart on their generation of electricity, that, that AC sine wave. At 220 volts, single phase, you have two legs that are 180 degrees apart, and this thing's bending one of those phases to make it be 90 degrees apart. So you only have, I know that's a bunch of jargon that you don't understand. You can draw the sign but it, out. But it all relates to torque. So no torque, you're not going to be able to move your load depending on what your load is. So if you're starting a motor and then loading the motor, this isn't a bad option. It's definitely not as efficient and you definitely don't get the running torque. Um, today's solution is a frequency drive. So there are a lot of companies out there that make frequency drives. They're reasonably priced uh, nowadays uh, in the, the, you know, well, way back in the day when they were originally designed, your frequency drives were thousands of dollars for a five horse motor. You know, now, you know, a lot of companies out there will sell a five horse frequency drive at uh, a price way less than a thousand dollars and you can simply install that in your circuit you can adjust the speed you want to run with that and the frequency drive is the you know the modern day solution this was a solution for its time and today's not its time anymore <laughs> well is there any amp rating on front of that? Is there any this, indication what this was actually capable of handling? This was designed around a three horsepower motor. So. And it said it would drive a five horsepower max. And again, when they when they make ratings like that, it means you're pushing the envelope at five horsepower. But but like uh, we have a dust collector here. We've never hooked up. It's a five horse three phase. Yeah. It would possibly run on that because it's not a, doesn't take a lot of draw to start it and to run. If it's loaded hard, it would, but that might be an option for this particular tool. Absolutely. Absolutely. But a compressor starting, it'll never take the load to start a compressor. Never take the load to start the compressor. Um, and, and, if it does once, it may not do it again, so you may damage something either in, in your compressor electric circuit or even in this circuit with that kind of uh, starting torque requirement. So this is basically an anomaly, and it might go hung on the wall, shame with some other bad parts. It, it very well could, <laughs> but you know, again, in its day, it, it served its use very well till other solutions came about. Better options. Okay, better options. <laughs> <laughs> so there, this this is just a, a tidbit of knowledge. You know, there is there is another method out there, and it's going to do basically the same thing as this box does. Is you know that that uh, the, the, you used to be able to start a three phase motor on single phase, and use that motor to generate your third leg of your three phase for your second motor. But now you're running two complete motors to try and get the power to run one motor. And again, you're not getting the right torque you need to run that motor. So with that, just a little bit of knowledge out there. If anybody wants the information on this, and <laughs> Bud will put up a nice screenshot of this thing so that you can get the information off of it and try and see if these guys are still in business or not but so i'm sitting here in the massive compressor guru studio no actually i'm setting up a work desk but uh when i started to do a little research on phase matic they're still in business they're now in los angeles california but i called them I tracked them down. I had a bit of a trouble getting their number without knowing they were in California instead of Chicago now. But I tracked them down. Nice people. This product in modern version is still for sale. They called a static uh, inverter. And the fact that 
you know, they're still making these. And they said, we ship these all over the world. And it occurred to me that it made a lot of sense in the respect that there's third world countries that maybe they have good single phase electric somewhere, but they have a three phase application and this could be a solution. They also make rotary inverters. Uh, that's where you take a motor and spin it and get the third phase out of it. And they, but they make those as well. And so this company, Phasematic, and look in the description. I put their uh, link to their web page in there, and they're nice people. Uh, you may find a solution for your single to three phase problem there. I recommend you give them a call. And you know, we did a little busting on this, thinking it was an antique that isn't applicable anymore but quite frankly I found out it is so we're going to give them a recommendation just on the fact they're filling a void um let's go let's get back to eric bye uh chances are uh this business was long gone and, or they're uh, selling inverters or they're selling <laughs> inverters there you go <laughs> and with that camera wife <laughs> thank you for joining us for another wonderful educational, exciting episode of The Compressor Guru. Hit like and subscribe and notify and whatever other little buttons you want to hit there. Thanks for joining us. God bless you all. Have a great day.